G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. Well, into Survival Supplies Australia again. And I've come back with the Hapka from Savata. Now I've been looking at this for a while to be an add-on to the Yakri medium I've got hanging up behind me here. So quickly go over the specs. I've written it all down so I don't get much wrong. Weight 480 grams. It's roughly 12 litres. Dimensions are 25, 40 by 15. It's made out of a 500D Cordora, so fairly waterproof material and tough, so it's going to last a long, long time. The webbing is 100% polyester, which is your Powell's webbing here. And let's get this right. It comes in black, green, multicam, multicam, tropical, and brown. And just to give you a little bit of what Hatka means. Now, he's got it here Hatka, also known as Otta Hatka, to escape or take your leave. Another way of explaining it uh, is E and E, escape and evade. And which I didn't say is the buckles are SR buckles, which are damn good things. Now, that's all that bit done. Like I said, I've been looking at this for quite a while. I like the idea, those who know me and follow my channel know that I like the idea of pouches, being able to add them and take them off the backpack I'm using. So this can be attached to the pack. They say the medium, the large, and the extra large Yakri packs. It can also be worn as a standalone, hence the E and E. Because, let's take this off, shall we? It's just been a pain getting in the way. Nearly there. Okay, so we have shoulder straps on the inside and they're just tucked down the top here. There's the other one and they connect to the strap in here. This is just hiding in the corner and they've got a little notch taken out so you can push it in. And here's the other strap and the same on the opposite side. Now, depending on your waist size, uh, sorry, not your waist, your shoulders, how tall you are, you've got adjustment down this end on both. We also have adjustment on the top of both of these. And these are connected with some D-rings here, which are connected to the pack. And there's a good bit of reinforcement webbing stitched all the way over as part of the pack too. So it's going to be nice and strong. And all we're going to do is, coming from this side, following these straps through to come up here. And then bringing it back down through this section. simple and the same on this side I bring it up from the bottom so it comes up through next to the webbing and back in on itself nice and secure and if you wanted to take it off quick you basically use it as a quick release if you want or just drop it off your arms So get that back. I'll just throw it over. And as you can see, plenty of webbing. So you can adjust that to suit you. I think it'll probably fit all sizes unless you're a super giant, which I doubt. Well, you might be. There we go. 
tighten it up and it sits on the back nice quick easy throw it on gone and I'll show you a little bit more about it now so before we look at anything else that pocket here is a whole size of the back panel so if you wanted to you could drop your hydration in there your water bladder or anything else that you wish to but that will be sitting up against your back if you're wearing it so your hydration bladder is probably a good idea because then it'll bring the weight closer to your back so it's not going to give you the pull back nice large hook and loop or loop panel there and the Savata with the made to endure since 1955 on it you've got a, a row of webbing across one all the way through same on the bottom there's two now i'll show you in another video but this is where you can attach buckles to so you can actually attach it to your yakri backpacks we've got four loops on the bottom and that's what i've got that the elastic cord kit from savata which will be in another vid in the next video. What I'm going to do in the next video is uh, use the cord kit, make some uh, with the web in here, or not the, using the cord kit. I'm going to make it so I can hold my jacket here, my poncho, or a small tarp. And also, I'm going to be installing another one on the front here. So if you're using that for something else, you could stuff a jacket in there or your helmet or whatever you want to. So that's what the four loops can be used for. Like I said, the buckles, really nice. Click really secure. Big enough to get your fingers in there, even with gloves on and open it. Bolt up. Nice bit of webbing across here to make it nice and stiff to make it easier to roll. We've got a bit of plastic by the feels of it hemmed in here so you're going to get a good roller there. It's not going to be uh, twisting or opening up and you're not rolling it properly. It just makes it so much easier. And let's uh, turn it inside out so you can see it might be easier then. Now on the inside we've got a D-ring on this side and just a loop on this side, no D-ring in there. I don't know if it's meant to be, no the stitching looks different. No. Yeah that's, that's sewn up different so I don't think the D-ring is supposed to be on there. We've got two large pockets on the inside which go all the way down and what I was thinking to use that for let's get some poles <clears throat> these are the poles are made for my bivvy instead of having the poles in my actual pack I can have them sitting in here so let's see if I've got a tape measure somewhere like with all their stuff I've got it's nicely finished off all the stitching no loose threads nice just quality control is really good now when fitting this onto the back of your backpack you use the existing compression straps but you're going to need to get four buckles that's the what I actually sell like I said, I've got this from Survival Supplies and they sell these as well. Uh, so you've got to buy those separate from the Hetka. But all this does is this connects on to your webbing on the 12 litre of Hetka. And then that's just going to hold it on using the buckle on your compression strap. Have I got that the right way around? Yeah. Just a stiff one to get in. 
so that'll be holding it in place. Uh, that's the Savata Hatka. Looks like it's going to be uh, a nice bit of kit to use. I'll be trying it out and I'll be letting you know along the way. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber, please go down below, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.